Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today I am sharing an unboxing video of the Retro Rewind birthday box from Brutus Monroe. This is a 90s themed box full of card making supplies and since this is from my era, I just knew I had to get this kit and create with it. So as of the date of this video, this box is still available for purchase on the Brutus Monroe website, which I will have linked down below. But because it is a limited edition box, it probably won't last long. The contents of the kit can be purchased separately, but if you buy the box, you will save quite a bit of money. It retails for over $140, but this kit is only $64.99. So let me show you what's inside. All of the contents come in this mesh zippered project pouch, which is always handy to have. I like to use those pouches to keep my supplies in when I'm traveling. But let's start with the embellishments. This little bag here has some bubblegum scented pink embossing powder, which is something I'm really excited about. I can't wait to make some scented cards. It also has the sequin mix that's called Windbreaker, but it has the sequins in the colors of the papers. And then there's a jar of sunshine yellow glitter glaze, which is going to go great with the stencils that come in this box, which I'll show you here in a bit. And then there's this grape fizz puff paint, which is something I'm not really sure how to use on cards. So I'll have to do some research. And then next we have these retro rewind card panels that measure four and a quarter by five and a half. And these are foilable, which is something that I've recently started getting into. I have a video that I'm working on where I share a bunch of foiled cards that I created. But these panels have 90s themed images, such as a VHS tape, a camera, a floppy disk, a cassette tape, a Walkman, a high top shoe, some sunglasses and more. And then there's this metal looking pattern. And then there's this other 90s pattern, which is similar to the pattern on one of the stencils. And then there is this uh, fun circled pattern. This kind of reminds me of CDs. And then there is another set of foilable four and a quarter by five and a half inch panels. And these are the sentiments and they're called conversation clippings. And these are great for cutting into sentiment strips. But these have a bunch of sentiments and some of my favorites are what's up and have a radical birthday, too legit to quit, hey dude, yada yada yada, alrighty then, you go girl, let's bounce, don't even go there, psych, as if, you to bomb, just hang tough. And these come with both white and black backgrounds. And uh, next there is this pack of 10 sheets of heat resistant vellum that measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches also. And then there's the paper, which I'll show last. This stamp set here is called Sketchy Sentiments and it goes with the sketchy dies. And they're made to look like they were written with an Etch-a-Sketch, etch which I think is so cool. I used to love my Etch-a-Sketch as a kid and I thought these would make some really cute cards. But these sentiments say, I heart you, Hello, I'm drawn to you. If only wrinkles faded so easily. You are a classic. Thanks so much. Happy birthday and shake, shake things up and start over. And then there are two stencils that come in the box. The first one I showed was called Save the 90s and then the other is called Squiggly. And it also includes five card bases. These are already scored for you. Then here's the other stamp set. This is a large six by eight stamp set that includes 24 pieces. And again, this includes lots of popular items from the 90s, like a pair of headphones, a CD, a VHS tape, a cassette tape, a Walkman, a Game Boy, a rotary dial phone, a ring pop, a microphone, film, a floppy disk, a high top shoe, a skateboard, lips with a bubblegum bubble, an aerosol can, a lollipop, plus sentiments such as you got this, keep it real, you're the bomb, you're all that in a bag of chips and sending cool vibes on your birthday. And it comes with these coordinating dies that cut out all of the images and the sentiments too. And then the sketchy dies go with the sketchy sentiments that I already showed you. It will cut out the etch-a-sketch and then the knobs plus some other shapes. And now I'll show you the paper pad, which is probably my favorite thing. If you know me, I love pattern paper, but this is called Retro Rewind, and it's a six by six paper pad with 24 double-sided papers. And these are a heavier weight paper, which I love, and they have a glossy finish to them. 
But as you can see, there's a lot of fun 90s theme patterns in these bright colors. A lot of the patterns include some of the same in images that are in the stamp sets. But I love the geometric pattern and then the Nintendo controller. There's some stripes. This one has Rubik's cubes with the lightning bolts plus some dominoes. And on the back, it has the stripe pattern. Then these walkie talkies. And on the back side of that is this leopard pattern in blue and purple. And then this pink pink sheet here that has some of the older computer graphics on it. Then a blue zebra pattern and then the pattern start over. But I thought this was such a fun 90s themed box and I just had to have it. I plan on creating some cards with this while I'm on spring break next week and I'll have to share those with you over on my Instagram. So if you're not already following me, I hope you will. That card's by Kendra. Here's a look again at all of the contents of this retro rewind box. As mentioned before, I have placed a link below if you're interested in purchasing the box or you can check out the items individually. Now, right now, Brutus Monroe is having a spring clearance sale with up to 90% off. So you definitely want to check them out. I hope you'll click on the like button down below and leave me a comment to let me know you stopped by. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy crafting!